I understand we're impulsive, but I do have to give respect yes. to you, Roman Reigns. You, yes. you, you're the you're the goat right now. You, I mean, bro, Mike bought your T-shirt after after SummerSlam. He comes. I, I wish I had it with he, me. He yeah, comes. He comes in the locker room. He goes. Appreciate you. He goes. Acknowledge the bloodline. Yeah, he got merch on it. I'm like, what the f is going on? You've you've turned everyone I know and love into fans. Beautiful, man. But that's what I mean. That, I think that's the beauty of kind of what you bring is you're bringing new fans, and that's mm. what we appreciate. That's what we're looking for. So uh, you know, and I I'm literally doing an interview as we're walking up, and and he's asking me if there's like backlash towards that. And I think maybe for some people, but once you reach a point, a certain point in your career, and you understand the big picture. And you're just trying to get as many eyeballs, as many asses and seats, as much traction, yeah. um, as many comments and, and as ch as much chatter as you can about your product and your company and, and the platform that you're representing. Um, you know, having somebody like you bring that attention and then having somebody like me loving it, like if bring them in, yeah, yeah, I yeah. want them, you know what I mean? Yeah, Cause yeah, that's yeah. an extra people that I can add to my following. Um, and that's me. how we work together. <laughs> By the way, that's what Mike and George do to me too. <laughs> hey, good beards, good gut health, <laughs> good stools. That's what the bloodline brings Let's to the go. table, baby. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? To that, to that point, um, the the WWE fan base is known to be like the one of the most notoriously like protective groups of people about about what they love, right? And I think that it is a part of why they look at this guy coming in from the social media world, from other parts of the entertainment world with that kind of crooked eye. Do you think that he started off uh, in a good way and has made a good impression on the on the core audience so far? Oh, 100%. I, I think, you know, and we've been lucky enough to have some outside talent come in that has showcased the passion, the drive, that hyper focus that you got to have. And, and, and there's got to be something like uh, that where you, oh, shit, I got bit by the bug, like the wrestling bug, the, the sports entertainment bug, like the simultaneous response is happening and I've never felt anything like that. Cause I mean, you have like a boatload of followers, right? But like you do something and then you like put it through the editing process and then like three or four days, however many days, then it goes out. But it's not like, man, I just did that. I killed it. And they, I, I know it for a fact because they went nuts out there. Yep. Like they were super loud. Um, the same thing you felt at SummerSlam, right? Yeah, I got the bug, man. It's I, immediate because it, it, it's happening as we're doing it. It's which, live. Which you know? is a whole nother beast that I'm actually yeah, yeah. having not, not, yeah, I'll say it. I'm, 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 I'm having trouble with it. I'm, bro, it is hard. It is. We hope so. Oh <laughs> it's God. not easy, bro. Like, I, I, I mean, like anything, it's a 10,000 hour rule. Like, I've years, I mean, I'm, I started in 2010. Yeah. Been grinding at the highest level for for a decade now, and I'm still learning. I'm still progressing. I'm still thinking of these minute details that, you know, only someone that's been this deep in the game thinks about. I know, I know. And see, I I feel like I am trying to learn those things so quick. And I'm watching guys like you. I'm watching. I'm watching Brock. I'm wa watching a lot of John Cena, Stone Cold, like doing my 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 research and and trying to get as versed as I can in this industry. But it is hard man and i i don't have the luxury of time on my side oh, oh. I'm, I'm here you got a lot of expectations a lot of eyeballs so not to <laughs> add the you know no no all good all Make good it real steep for <laughs> no, it. it's gonna be hard <laughs> no. no you're doing great though thanks thanks you really man. are i and, appreciate and you. just i mean it, it's tough because like you're trying to get the broad strokes right like okay with this this crazy performance this crazy art form that i'm now involved in and there's just so many working you know, mechanics that go into the performance and things that, because like, you know, when I played football, I didn't hear anything. Mm. Like, I mean, I played division one college football yep. at Georgia Tech. Georgia so Tech, it was right. like pretty good, like uh, attendance. So pretty loud noise. But when the play happened, I didn't hear anything. Mm. And if that happened to me now, I'm screwed. Yeah. Then I don't know what to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause I, we're going off of the response and the reactions that we're eliciting. Um, and, and that's the magic is making people yeah. Make noise. You gotta evoke that reaction from yeah. the crowd. I, I watched a video recently of John Cena watching an old match of his, and it was really interesting. Now, in hindsight, that he has the knowledge that he has to critique his. It was his f first performance ever, oh, yeah, and yeah. he was just watching the crowd. He was barely watching, you know, the moves, the physicality. It's all about the crowd, and I actually just came to the realization. Um, I think I think WWE is harder than boxing. I think I think it's it's a mental torment, dude. Mm -hmm. Like to to consider the crowd and then the moves and then everything all at once. You have to put on a performance, both physically and a performance. It's absurd, man. 